Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for all the things to do and places to go all around the Lone Star State. I'm your host, AC, and on today's episode, we are headed to Denison to check out a world-class distillery and then to Richardson to try, get this, goat yoga. But first up, we're in the spirit of St. Patty's Day where we're headed to Ireland, <laughs> well, sort of, as we check out North Texas Irish Festival in Dallas. Welcome to the North Texas Irish Festival. Held every year for the last 36 years, it's three days of music, dancing, and sampling all the best that the Emerald Isle has to offer. So here there's food, dancing, beer, rides for the kids, multiple ways to really get to know the Irish culture. But you know the main attraction really is all about the music. And I hear some tunes, so let's go find that music. Across 13 stages, some of the best music acts from all over Ireland, Scotland, and Wales have made the trip to Texas to join in in the celebration. And with so much to see and do, I met up with Sherry Bush, the director of the festival, to help me navigate all it had to offer. The North Texas Irish Festival has been going on for its 36th year. 36 oh years. Oh my goodness. So what makes this so special that people keep on coming back year after year after year? We have all sorts of things out here, um, and it's just past the music. I mean, it is a music festival, so that is our biggest component. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we also have a, a, a building that's dedicated to our step dance. We have another building that's dedicated to uh, pet rescue groups. We got lots of furry friends out here. We have a great kids area, lots of activities for the kids, different things that they can get yeah. hands on with. Um, we have horses. Our, the Irish are known for their horses, <laughs> and we've got beautiful horses, got beautiful Irish draft horses out here. Um, just about, if you want it, it's here. Come hang out, have a drink, listen to some music, just explore your heritage. Uh, everybody's an Irishman in March. <laughs> and I can't wait to get going, so thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're a busy you lady. You're so welcome. <laughs> Our first stop, we swung by the Celtic Horse Experience to learn a little bit more about Ireland's equine heritage. So, you know, living in Texas, owning and riding a horse is a pretty big deal, but the Irish, they've actually been doing it way longer than we have, in fact, the Irish have a number of distinct breeds, so this demonstration gives folks an opportunity to get hands-on and see them all face-to-face -face and really learn about these guys. After that, we found another iconic symbol of Ireland, the DeLorean. So you may be a little confused as to why an American car is at an Irish festival. Well, while the DeLorean is an American car, it was actually built in Northern Ireland. So excuse me while I geek out a little bit. I've actually never been inside the DeLorean, so let's do this. Woo! All right, let's go, Marty McFly, 1985. Up next, a sheep herding demonstration complete with some seriously adorable shepherds. All right, so if you're a fan of the show, you know I absolutely love animals and normally I'm more of a dog person, but I also find sheep hilariously cute. So when we found an activity that combines the two, you know it was a must see. Sheep farming goes back centuries in Ireland and the country is well known for its wool. Well, we're just different because, I mean, if you're in, from the city, you've never seen a sheep and much less a dog work it. So, uh, you know, we're kind of old school history. We bring back a pastime to the Irish festival and bring it back to its roots. So good dog. <laughs> One thing this Texas Irish festival is really good at building up an appetite. And fortunately for me, they had plenty of options for traditional Irish fare. I couldn't wait. Back inside, the party was really kicking up with Susie's Cakes. And for our food demo for the day, chocolate Guinness cupcakes. Once again, taking two things that I love and putting them together. This is um, our chocolate Guinness cupcake. So with the batter, it's basically kind of like a devil's food cakey chocolate batter. Um, and then, but we add beer to it. Oh so we goodness. use the dark drought um, Guinness beer. And then with our buttercream, it's an all-American buttercream, so just your basic simple ingredients, and we add a little bit of Bailey's to it. Okay, and then you did some kind of swirl thing? Yep. Just swirl thing. She's hired. Y'all, I did it! Yay! I did <sighs> And after a nice sugar rush, I explored more of what the festival had to offer. My forever home, right? Yeah. 
Our rescue group is called New Life IFS Rescue, and we actually made a commitment this year in 2018 to give 100 service members, so veterans, active duty, retired, a service dog. So 100 service members, 100 service animals. So that's our commitment this year. It's called our One for One campaign. Look how precious. Okay, so right about now, I'm regretting I don't know how to Irish step dance, but luckily for me, there's a ton of demonstrations going on. And let me tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. But after a little work, I was actually kind of getting the hang of it. That's a workout. I'm retiring. <laughs> and as our day was winding down, I realized that there was one more thing that I had missed. No trip to the festival would be complete without a pint of Ireland's most famous export. All right, so Guinness has actually been around since 1759. Let me say that one more time, 1759. So if they've been doing it that long, you know it's definitely got to be good. So you know what they say? Slancha. What is it? Slancha. Sanchez? All right, Slancha. as they have performing this year. If you thought it was all Irish folk music, well, think again, because they really do have something for All right, so that does it for us here at the North Texas Irish Festivals. We had an absolute blast. If you're ever in Dallas and have the festivals in town, Make sure to come check it out. In the meantime, we're gonna see you later. Yellow Texas. I'm sorry if I didn't say your heritage. Stick around because after the break, we are visiting a distillery that's serving up some serious award-winning whiskey. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where our next destination, we are heading up to Denison to check out a place that's making a name for itself in the world of whiskey as we check out Iron Root Republic. Welcome to Denison. This little town sits right on the Red River and is home to not just the distillery, but to a charming downtown and an impressive who's who of former residents including President Dwight D. Eisenhower. He was born right here in Denison and is still all over the town today. You can visit his first place, Veterans Memorial and the State Park, which is actually right next door to Oklahoma. And for a small town, Denison has a reputation for being the starting point of some pretty incredible success stories. Which brings us to Iron Root Republic Distillery to check out the latest success story out here in Denison. And they're actually getting so big that they won Whiskey Magazine's award for best corn whiskey in the entire world. So yeah, we gotta check it out. Let's go. So this is, I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and to give me a better idea of what I was looking at, I met up with one of the owners, Jonathan, here at Iron Root Republic. Let me show you around. Yeah. Neat space. And all right, Jonathan, before we get into the whiskeys, I do have to ask, how did the whole idea of Iron Root come about? Well, it started first when we wandered into a distillery in Spokane, Washington. Figured out that you could make your own whiskey legally. Um, and just fell in love with the process. We kind of made a pact that we would uh, start a distillery when we retired. My dad kid around and said, why don't you guys just start the distillery now? Yeah. And um, at that point in time, he, uh, my brother, uh, jumped on it and uh, we just kind of ran with it. We're about to take a tour, uh, but what else are we gonna be doing here today? We're gonna, we're gonna do the tour. Um, hopefully we're gonna crack into some barrels and see what's inside on those. Maybe uh, check some proof on some things, do a couple other things too. All right, I like the sounds of that. You ready uh -huh. to go? Absolutely. All right. All right, so this is where the process first starts, which is with the grain. 
So what we have here is 1,300 pounds of milled corn. This looks like sand, but it's actually corn, huh? That's, that's a lot of corn. <laughs> cool. All right, so all the grains that we just uh, that we just saw in back are going to actually end up in this tank first. All so right. This is going to be called our mash tank. We heat it up to 60 degrees Celsius. We bring in one of those big super sacks with all that yellow corn. Yeah right over the top of this manway here, and we're just gonna drop it directly in through there. And then there's a big mixer on there that keeps everything mixing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cool it back down to room temperature. Okay. And now let's move on to fermentation. All right. Okay, so this is gonna be one of our fermenters. Okay. So and we will just pump from the mash tank into here. So it'll take us one day to mash it, and then about seven, seven days, days of fermentation. Okay. And then from here, we're gonna go directly over to the still. Okay. From mashing to fermentation and to distilling, these guys, they really know their stuff. So much so, they had an interesting take into naming their still. This one's called Jim Bowie. Okay. That's because this one comes from Vendome Copper and Brass in, in Kentucky, and so hopefully it's gonna die in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, that's so, good. Yeah. And next, it was off to the barrel room to give it all a try. Right now we have uh, well over 400 barrels back here. Wowzers. So <laughs> today we're gonna show you some of our favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and take, take this bung off here. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead and pull some out. You don't mind? Absolutely. Okay, so just hand but, here. Mm -hmm. And then just ease it right out. Oh shoot, look at that, y'all. If there's bubbles, is that okay? Oh, you're perfect. Okay. Just keep going and I will catch. That was the best first time I've ever seen. Seriously? Yep, there awesome. you go. Perfect yeah. pour. I'm just gonna leave it there. That'll Here be great. Go. Cheers, y'all. Granger. Woo. That is whiskey. Woo. <laughs> it's pretty rare when you can say you've had the best in the world of something, but that one little sip made the whole trip worth it. And lucky for me, we weren't limited to just one sip. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Absolutely. So this one has won uh, Best Corn Whiskey in the World from Whiskey Magazine's awards, uh, which is uh, whiskey's, uh, World Whiskey Awards. That's nice. I will. Mm. Oh. Woo-wee. So I may not have the most refined palate, but I know a good thing when I taste one. And Iron Root, they're the real deal. I love coming here. You know, there's not a place in this area that you can come and get a good cocktail. These guys absolutely make the best one. So if there's anybody coming through the area and wanting a good cocktail, good old fashioned, this is the place to come. It has a different experience. It's not your typical whiskey. It's not your typical alcohol. It's, it's really good quality stuff. All right, that's gonna do it for us here at Iron Root Republic Distillery. If you're ever in the Denison area, make sure to check out their whiskeys, maybe have an old fashioned. Thank you so much to Jonathan for having us out, showing us around. In the meantime, we're just gonna have a drink, call it a day. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Want to learn more about Iron Root Republic and their line of whiskey and spirits? Visit ironrootrepublic.com. Coming up, we are trying out a new yoga trend with some adorable little friends, so stick around. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, the show that gives you a front row seat to all the coolest places the Lone Star State has to offer. And up next, we are taking a closer look at one of the hottest trends in yoga today. Need a hint? It's got four legs, one fluffy tail, and has absolutely nothing to do with yoga. That's right, we're headed to North Dallas to experience the very popular Goat Yoga Richardson. All right, so goats and yoga. Who would have thought, right? Yeah. So yeah, this trend is so popular. It has people all over coming in just to try their class. Yeah, and believe it or not, it all takes place in the backyard of this beautiful home. So let's go inside and see what this place is all about. All right, Amanda, so we are here going to try out goat yoga. Yes. <laughs> Goats, yoga, how did this all come about? <laughs> well, I wish I could say that it was some original thought <laughs> that I had, but I heard about it. It was happening on the West Coast outside of Portland, Oregon, and I thought, well, we already have two goats as pets, so why not get a few more, yeah. a few, now we have nine. <laughs> so that's kind of how it came about, and it, it's, it's just grown from there. So what is it about the goats 
that makes the whole yoga experience unique. You'll see for yourself that goats just bring a different dynamic to <laughs> yoga. You think yoga, you think studio, inside, calm, quiet, focused. It's hard to focus when you have a goat jumping on you or on each other. All right, so we're getting ready for our yoga class and you see all the yoga mats lined up, but what you don't see is behind is where Pete hangs out and Pete is a little hard of hearing, hard of seeing, but he is not hard to love. Hey, hi Pete. Oh, he's looking over here. This here guys is Norman. As you can see, he's super friendly, loves to be around people. I mean, how could you not love his face? Hey, gotta feed these little guys. <laughs> You're eating my whole cup. How many of you guys are new to yoga? So we may be newbies to yoga, but goat yoga, we definitely didn't know what we we're in for. Turns out we we're having lots of fun. He doesn't want me to exercise. Or maybe he does. Look that. Even though goats aren't normally what come into mind when talking about yoga, it was a great workout and also a stress reliever. Actually, it kind of worked out some of my knots in my back, so it was kind of good. <laughs> After a full hour of wet kisses, hooves in the face, and a whole lot of laughter, we had a little surprise for Goat Yoga Richardson. All of us from the yellow team, we had an idea and we made these little bandanas Aww. for each <laughs> of <laughs> the mini goats. Yes. Yellow Texas. Alrighty, so that's gonna do it from us here at Goat Yoga. It was so much fun learning all about this new craze. I can see why it's so popular. Definitely brings out the best in everyone that these animals meet. Loved it. And like how they say here, Baha Maste. Baha Maste. <laughs> <laughs> Want to try out the latest yoga trend? Visit GoatYogaRichardson.com to claim your spot today. Coming up, we are giving you a sneak peek into what Yellow Texas has in store. Plus, stay tuned for a chance to win a sunny getaway. See you after the break. Welcome back to Yellow Texas. And before we wrap up and give you a sneak peek of what we have in store, we want to send a big thank you to our friends over at the North Texas Irish Festival, Irish Republic, and Goat Yoga Richardson. We had such a great time visiting and we cannot wait to be back. So here's more information on the places you saw today. interested in learning more about the North Texas Irish Festival for next year and some of the animal charities that they support, well, visit the link below to learn more. Ever tasted a world-winning whiskey? Well, we have it right here in Texas at Iron Root Republic Distillery. Check out their website for more details. Looking to change up your yoga routine and include some adorable four-legged friends? Visit GoatYogaRichardson.com to book your class today. As you know, there are always so many exciting events going on across Texas, including the San Antonio Wings and Beer Fest going on March 24th at the Alamo Beer Company. We'll be there too, so make sure to mark your calendar. And here are some more events going on around the Lone Star State. And you know we cannot end the show without offering a special giveaway, so be sure to visit our website at yolotx.com giveaway to sign up for any current promotions such as this one, a California prize pack where you get a chance to experience what our Yolo Texas crew did out in Buena Park, Costa Mesa, and Irvine in Orange County, California. 
Plus, stay caught up with any previous episodes of Yellow Texas that you may have missed. Hope you enjoyed what you saw today, and here's a preview of what's to come later this year. The saying goes, red and yellow kill a fellow, red and black, friend of Jeff. better way to spend a Friday night than hot dogs, beer, and baseball. All right, that is all the time we have here today on Yellow Texas. Make sure to like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, it's a big world out there, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all next week.